Howdy guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to do an unboxing of this thing. This is a, uh, a V-Bore. It's a chamber vacuum. Uh, like a, you see those vacuum bag, vacuum chiller bags or whatever. It's just a chamber model. I think everybody, most everybody knows what it is. But uh, we finally got this thing in the mail and we want to do an unboxing and a review on it. Uh, we're going to, right now, <clears throat> we, we cut the tape of course. Anyway, uh, it's, it packs pretty good in here with this foam stuff like this. So, anyway, uh, let us get it open. Let us get it open, take it out, and then we'll kind of go over it and uh, show, you, show you everything that it's, it's, it comes in the box. Uh, like I said, this thing comes packed pretty well. I mean, that's what, two inches of foam all the way around in there and it's also in the box like that inside the box so when you order it it'll come packaged pretty well all right this is the b-bore model uh gotta have a light uh, dz260a it's uh we got this one because it's slightly smaller than the other ones the other ones are pretty massive this one's slightly smaller <clears throat> Uh, what it comes with, it comes with a little bottle, a hydraulic pump oil. You pour this in the bottle, and we'll do that here in a minute. All right, it comes with a cord, an extra piece of, uh, yeah, bring the camera here on my shoulder. This right here, it's like a sealer. That's uh, like a, the cover it goes over the heat, heating element or whatever that is that does the sealing. You get an extra one of those in the bag. The cord, a uh, little Allen wrench. The Allen wrench, I'll show you what it's for in a minute. It's to take the back off to put the oil in it. But anyway, it comes with everything you need to get started. Okay, but it also comes with, it also comes with a, a ton of bags. Either, there's probably, Lord, there's probably 50, 60 bags in there. Probably not more than that, probably. But anyway. Different sizes. Yeah, different sizes. That's one gallon. It just fits right in there. But anyway. We'll do a, we'll seal something with it. We'll show you how it works. But right now what I got to do is a pedal lamp, but check this, check this lid out, how thick this lid is. But that thing is, that's half an inch thick probably. It's got a rubber seal on it, a silicone seal. And that seals against the heating tab there, the heating bar. And whenever you close this down, it pulls vacuum and it sucks the lid down like that. And it seals the lid down. Wait, that's the, bar there but it sucks the lid down like that and you won't be able to open it once it sucks vacuum on it but I mean we'll explain all that here in a minute but anyway uh, I just want to show that lid how thick that lid was and that, I think probably that lid is heavy I mean real heavy that's, probably, <coughs> well, that's at least every bit of half inch thick maybe more I'd say probably more honestly but anyway it, it's, it's all stainless steel here's the controls up front and just to be honest with you, I don't know exactly what they all are. There's a bag that's wrapped in. We have to, one's the timer, like the vacuum time, one's the seal time, and the other one's cool time. But once we get it set up and open in it, we'll figure all those settings out. But for right now, I'm going to uh, take it apart and put the oil in it. Be right back. All right, in it, this bag, it comes with the cord, like I said, an Allen wrench. The Allen wrench is to take this little screw right here out. Right. Once you take this little screw out, let's see if I can get all the way out here. I put it in the most awkward position. There's the screw. Okay, then you tilt it forward. Like that. Try not to let it fall off the bar. But you tilt it forward. Just like that. Now right, here's your, vac <coughs> your vacuum pump. <coughs> On this vacuum pump, you take this off. There's a little rubber seal right here. Make sure you get that rubber seal back. 
like it's supposed to be. Okay. Put it on here. Put it right back on here. Put it by, I just put it back on here. Some people just set it on there. But anyway, you fill that oil up to halfway in that. I'm not going to use the little squirt bottle because I can get to it pretty easy. Okay. Well, I say I can. We'll see. And you only feel it. There's a line right here. You feel it to that line. That's the half mark right there. You feel it there or just maybe just a little bit above it. Just a little bit in the window now. Good. It, it could be a little past it. It don't have to be exactly on the line. You can go make up just a hair too much in it, but like a Ford, you got to put more oil than it called for in it. Not really, but I mean, it's still right there. It's still three quarters mark, so half to three quarters mark. Then put this vent pipe back in it, or vent plug, or whatever you want to call it. Try not to strip it like I'm about to do. There we go. Let me get my light to make sure that that's all the way down. And it is all the way down. Tighten it up. Got that rubber seal back in it too. Just make sure that's tight. And that's, yeah, that's still good. It's like three quarters. Maybe higher over three quarters, so it's fine. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, if it wasn't fine, I wouldn't know how to take it back out. So, anyway. But they say you can put it, you know, right there at the fill mark and go a little bit above it. Okay, now you gotta put the screw back in it. you like to permanently set this? Probably right there next to the refrigerator. Over here? Mm-hmm. Because that's pretty much where it's going to be. Um, all right, this thing is technically ready to run now. You got to plug your cord in, of course. And plug it up, and it's ready to go. Pretty, technically. But uh, I was going to show you this bag. This stuff in this bag, they come with, they come with the Allen wrench. Like I said, they come with an extra strip that goes over the heater. The sealer, whatever you want to call it, actually two of them. Come with two extra strips to go over that. Um, certificate of approval, inspected by whatever, a little card in it. It come with an extra heating strip too, like uh, the sealer you put in there. It's a replacement strip for it. And it come with two extra fuses and an instruction book, which I'm pretty sure It must be, it just tells you about, it's 180 watts is supposedly all it uses on this. And uh, that's kind of the reason I went with this one is because of the low wattage that it uses, uh, because like everybody knows that we're completely solar powered and we try to get the most of it, energy efficient thing we can find. But anyway, put all this back in here. Cause I mean, you never know if you're gonna need these or not. Hopefully we won't. But. We do have a lot of food that we gotta that we're gonna have to vacuum seal, and uh, we're gonna put everything in mylar bags too. Maybe not today because we're just gonna test it and show everybody how it works today. But what we're gonna do is dry goods like uh, rice, beans, and stuff like that. We'll put mylar bags in one gallon mylar bags, and we'll put oxygen absorber in there, and then we'll seal it. And that way, it's it should be shelf stable for 
the rest of our lifetimes. So. And we can always do another video on that if somebody wants to see. Yeah, it. we can do we can do a mylar bag, you know, like like a little short clip or something if somebody wants to see it. But today I'm gonna to set it over here and uh, plug it up, and we'll find something to seal in it. So anyway, let me get set up here because this thing's very heavy, and I don't want to look like a little girl on film. So uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got it. But that, that lid is very heavy, though. I mean, I like that lid. It's extremely heavy. But uh, we got it set up over here. This is where it's going to basically stay. We're going to slide it back a little bit, of course. But right now, we just got it out so you can see it. And uh, I plugged it up. I have not touched anything yet. So let's see if it works first. There's a little switch in the back. Okay, it comes on. All right. Now, the settings, you get the setting button. Okay. It's a vacuum for 25 seconds. It's a vacuum the chamber for 25 seconds. It will ceiling for 1.4. I'm gonna raise that up to 2.5. And cooling three seconds. That sounds pretty good. Um, ED. I have no clue what that means. Okay. More instructions, I have no clue what that means. Okay, there's the emergency stop button. Uh, then here's the start button. Okay, the way that this thing works is you raise this lid up. Of course, we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, we're gonna do some meat, and then we're gonna do some beans too. That way we can do dry and wet kind of stuff. But anyway, the way this thing works is you lift this part, you put your bag in there, you set it down right here across the front let me grab one of these bags you have something in the bag and you set it down right here like that and put the end up right across this bar and then put that on and that'll hold it in place and then once you close that lid it should do its thing we'll see i don't know anyway uh right now i'm gonna turn it over to amanda she's gonna she's gonna bag this chicken the hamburger meat and uh we'll do the beans too we'll do them all and just, I mean, we'll, we've got small bags, large bags, we'll try them out. Anyway, we'll see how it works. Anyway, let's get, get set up and then we'll be right back. Let's start with the chicken. I have a breast here that I did not put in my cans last night. And then I also have some that was cut up because I was cutting it all. Mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna set that aside. While she's shaking off my hands so I don't cross contaminate. And then take the hand for me and I'll give me another the big bag. bag. Yes, please. These bags are just what come with the the, the machine. It's not what we're gonna use for long term storage because we're gonna use mylar bags for long term storage, but we just want to show that it works good, or hopefully that it works good. Uh, these things supposedly seal mylar bags as well as those bags. Those are slick like a mylar bag. A mylar bag is slick on both sides, and a food saver bag has like, uh, like rough on one side so the air can escape it. But these are like mylar bags, they're slick on both sides. So with that being said, if it does these, it'll do mylar bags. That's what I'm saying, what I'm getting at. All right. Let's do let's do those first before we put the beans in the bag. That way they're out of the way. All right. She likes the roller hamburger make kind of flat-ish. Well, if you flatten it, it um fits in the freezer a little better. It don't take up as much space. So that is why I do it this way. And these things will supposedly 
vacuum sealed liquids. So like if you do a soup or a chili or a deer stew or anything, it will, um, mm -hmm. it will, um, you should seal it. do good. All right. Let's get this flattened out and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, the maiden voyage here. You got the bar up. This bar goes up like that. Yeah. Put it right across. Put that in there flat. You just put that right across that, like so. Well, let's see, make it a little straighter. Let's see, but it's pretty straight. Yeah, okay. Now, close the lid. And I think. Just hit start, should. Hit the start button. <coughs> okay. You watch it seal. Now what it's doing is sucking the vacuum out of the chamber, not the bag. It's the chamber itself is the vacuum. And it should go for, it's counting down on the seconds we put in there. Six. Okay, as soon as that happens, it goes to zero. It should release all the vacuum and suck out the bag. Looking out ceiling, seeing that bar go down. Okay. Now, end. Okay. And there you have it. The chicken is sealed really well. Okay. With it, we need to go. You got to experiment with the vacuum, the times. So I mean, it's still good right there. That's very good. It sucked all air out of it. But you can also. I would go a little longer. We'll go a little bit longer with the time. Okay. 25. We're going to go to 35. Just, just to see what happened. Just see what happened. Okay. And then did it seal good? It sealed. I can look how wide that seal is on it. So you can't know if you see it or not. But regular uh, seal it vacuum, like uh, what do you call them things? Food savers? Yeah. One little strip. Look how wide that thing is. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then I'll take a permanent marker and just write up here somewhere, chicken breast and, and the, the date, date. Yep. so that I know. Okay, now put that in there. That's the chicken or the hamburger. I might have a problem putting that in there because so much in it. Should look more heads or something. No, it'll be good. Okay. See? Good not, not so far. And this needs the bear to go across it, just like you got it right there. You done good. Okay, put it right, like right there. What do you think? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Okay, close your lid. Okay, now, whenever you hit the button, you can watch the lid suck down. Okay. See the lid pull down? Timer. Yeah, it's got a timer. Hit the count down. Is like nine. Two, one. Okay. And it counts down again. Three seconds, wasn't it? Oh yeah, you can tell that. That was much better. So it says ED or end or whatever. And you can see the strip really good on that one too. Yeah. The heating part of it or the selling part of it. You can smell it a little bit, but and you can see the the difference in the, that's the back end part of it. It's actually flat. This one here, there's 10 seconds difference between this one. Still still good, don't get me wrong, but it could it could be a little bit better. And this one sealed really good. Right there, it's flat. We flattened it out really. Alright. So that works. So now, I think the, on those back, I think you gotta get the time, the, the heat, 
kind of set for what bag you're using. So that's three seconds for that, I think. Let's go right here. Ceiling is 2.5. We'll go down to two with that because them bags are kind of thin. Okay, and the cooling is three seconds. Okay, we'll leave that at three seconds. Okay. All right, now let's get set up and we're going to try some. Yeah, that's how she puts it. Writing on it, right on it. Hamburger, 1124. Chicken, 1124. That actually does pretty good. Mm -hmm. I want to see how it does the, the dry stuff too. But I mean, that's, that's good to go. All right, let us get another bag out and we'll be right back. All right. They come with three different size bags, the small, medium, and a large. This is the medium size. Um, and they come with a ton of these things. But anyway, uh, we're just experimenting with these. But as I said, if it'll seal these, it'll seal Mylar bags because Mylar bags are just like this. They're slick on both sides. And it's a regular food saver bag. It's got like, it's rough on one side, which lets the oxygen absorb or escape when it sucks it out. But Mylar bags, you know, they're not like that. But anyway, I'm gonna put a bag of beans in them that's dried stuff. Cause mainly what we'll be using for a lot of dried food we also have that wheat in there. Yeah, we still got some wheat. But anyway, I'm gonna put these beans in here. Now this is one pound of pinto beans. I can get them all in there, get them all on the floor. Okay, that's one pound. And uh, this kind of is gonna be good too because Whenever we store our pinto beans, we don't store them in uh, like five gallon buckets of, of them or anything like that. I store them in, it, uh, most of the time in two pounds at a time like this, but you know, a gallon size bag. And uh, my what my thinking behind that is because if you open a whole five gallon bucket of beans, you gotta keep on and on and on eating from that bucket, you know? So uh, I'd rather just have them in individual packs like this. You just take one out, open it, and you cook it. And that way the rest of them are not open to iron stuff like that. That's just my way of thinking. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna put this in here. Just right across the heat strip. Close a little bar down. Maybe flatten But I'm gonna flatten them down a little bit. All right, it's like all I'm doing is just kind of just flattening them down a little bit. Be easier to store. Okay, and that's right across the heating tape. Let me get just a higher more on it, right? there that should be good okay close the lid nice go All right, you watch that back you see it pulling vacuum too that's kind of what you got to go by you got to wait get enough vacuum in for it to go into the green and it should go way down the the further down it goes in the green the more vacuum it's pulling i guess everybody knows that so i mean it's actually pulling a very good vacuum right there It's absolutely pulled everything out. It's, it's hit the needle. So, I mean, it's, it's sucking it. All right, hold it up here. Now watch it suck the... You can hear it. All right. Now, let's see what it does. Okay, pull the little lever back up. And as you can see, that is hard as a rock. That is a brick of beans right there. I mean, literally hard as a rock. That right there, yeah. That is pretty impressive as far as that goes. But uh, really what, the only difference that I'll do whenever I put them up for long-term storage is I'll put an oxygen absorber in there. Just, I mean, you don't have to, but I'm going to just because. Uh, in the Mylar bags, but that's, that's pretty, feel that. Yeah. That's hard as a rock. Yeah, it is. I mean, literally hard as a rock. I almost went off PG script there. Uh, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much all they are to it, guys. We just play around with your uh, 
So what you gotta do is just play around with the timing, the settings and stuff on it to get it the way you want it. But I mean, this this thing's it's a Vivor brand, and I know they make more expensive ones. I mean, some of these things I was looking at upwards of like two or three thousand dollars for these things. But this thing right here was, I'm gonna say it was three hundred bucks for this. And like I said, we got one just a higher, smaller than than most of the way they come, and. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive, it really is. So, because that right there is, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We get a bunch of these sealed like this, and they'll be good for years and years and years. Okay, guys. The chicken is the first one we sealed. And as you can see, even though it did, it sealed pretty good, but it could have used a little more time. It was 25 seconds. And then the hamburger meat was 35 seconds, and it did really good. I like how it did. As well as the beans were 35, 35. seconds, and they did really good. So when, if you get one or if you're interested in one, just kind of play with your settings with the first pack you make and get your timer and your settings the way you want before you actually do all your meats or all your beans mm. or rice or whatever you're vacuum sealing or uh when we in here we'll go over right here the settings that we have it on right now that which the beans were done at and the hamburger meat not the chicken the chicken was the first one so right now it's on 35 seconds of vacuum you could probably drop that down to 30 i would say uh, because it pulled vacuum over here at 15 seconds i mean it pulled max back vacuum at 15 seconds okay so but i'm gonna leave it at that because it it worked really good for that and the hamburger meat okay and the the sealing time i dropped down to two seconds it was at three seconds and i put it on two seconds because you, it was like it was getting it kind of too hot like you could smell it kind of i mean it seals i don't know if you can see that or not but see how wide that get over we can see it the seal is on it thanks how wide it is a food saver don't do nothing like that okay so but anyway uh you could actually smell it kind of like melting it a little bit which I know is normal, but I just didn't like the way it was like crinkling up the ends of it like it was too hot or it stayed in there too long, so I dropped it down. All right, with that being said, uh, we dropped that to two seconds and it, it works really good. Okay, and the cooling time I put on three seconds. I guess that's the cooling time for the heating strip. I guess. I, I don't know. But right, that, a lot of videos I watched, they leave it at three seconds, so that's where I'm going to leave it because it seemed to work pretty good right there. Uh, like I said, this is the emergency stop. Like in the middle of vacuum, you hit that and it'll just stop. Okay, that's your setting. You mash that for your setting, then up and down, of course, and then you start. And this right here, um, that's a light. It ain't a button, it's a light. And that'll light up for whatever reason. I have no clue. I have to read the book. But I think it may be, it says work instructions. Uh, maybe if there's a fault or something in there, it'll probably come on, I would say. And that's your vacuum gauge, of course. But anyway, like I said, it works really good for us. Okay, guys, this is our Vivor um, vacuum sealer. Um, the model number is DZ260A. And as you can see, that's our chicken and our hamburger meat and our beans. And I really like it. I think it's better than the actual little ones that you buy. I think the this one is does more or gives you more for your money. And the 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 food saver ones actually aren't the price difference isn't that much between that and the food saver because a good food saver is over two hundred bucks. A good one, one of the big ones. And that thing also, uh, one thing we forgot to tell them too, this thing will also seal quart jars or any kind of jar you can get in there. It'll actually seal a jar. That's something we didn't do. We may do that next time, but you can put a jar in there and a lid on, and it'll actually seal the jar. Yeah, we'll have to do another video on that and try that. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things we put in the jars too. Yeah. But um, if you will, please like and subscribe and have a blessed day.